Hello and welcome back to another video. So today we were taking a look at the combined items add-on. So it's been another slow week for uh, add-on releases, not much at all. So yeah, I might show this week with getting videos uploaded every day. I I taken a bit of a break. I uh, talked about this on. One day, but I did get a couple of videos recorded in advance, but uh, yeah, I got back late, well, a day later, and, uh, and I thought, and uh, it was just taking that day to recharge as well. Right to bed. So yeah, but now I'm back and I'm gonna get... Uh, Back into uh, recording. So that book. Oh, is that? That's the waypoints add on book. I don't want the waypoints add on book. I want this book, I think. Guidebook for combined items, yes. Uh, then we go into game mode zero. Right, so, we've got the combined table first. So combined table, table recipe combined. There are two crafting, uh, crafting tables in the crafting table to obtain a craft combined table. So, I want two crafting tables. I just do this in my inventory. And you get four combiner tables out of it. That's a bit odd. Oh, I would imagine you only get one. So I'll just put you there. Then we've got armor. So combine colored armor. Combine diamond armor with red, blue, or green dye to get colored armor. So uh, do I have any dye? Diamond armor, like one of these chests or something. Yeah, I do. So let's just grab this armor, grab some dye. So I got blue, got cyan, got orange and red. So you can make blue, red, and ah, light, which is uh, chest plate. So I got leggings on the helmet. Can you not make chest plate? Yeah, oh, yeah, chest plate. Why? Diamond chest plate. Oh, it's because these two are enchanted. Let me uh, go grindstone. So I'll just put the grindstone there. So if you go back to the table. Make a light diamond and blue. Yeah, oh, that's blue again. So you can make slime diamond with a slime ball, but you can't. So you can't dye them any color, which is a little bit disappointing. Dye them blue. And basically yellow and green and red. Oh, let me put these dyes away. It'd be cool if they did add more uh, color combinations. Also, it says diamond armor. Can you do it with iron armor? So give that P I one boots. No, you can't make iron boots. You can't. So, yeah, expanding this to more armor types and more colors would definitely be cool. Oh, but yeah, slime ball. Uh, with... Oh, there it is. Okay. 
We can make slimy boots. So let's read more of this armor. So you got a uh, combined armor. Combine diamond armor with a fish, a torch, or an echo shell to get a fish, light, and warden armor. So I'm just gonna give FP diamond underscore chest plate. I'll give myself five of them and give at P Echo Echo Shard and a fish. What? Tropical fish? They can make the warden. Uh, what about? Hold on. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, fish. Oh, you need salmon. Give at P what Sam Salmon Salmon. There we go. Then you go. Fish, and what was the other one? Armor. Uh, I guess you're fishing light and warden, yeah, so I got all them. So let's uh, take all this off, it's gonna make it. Yeah, they make a little noise. Oh. Anyway, so that's a, this is a diamond chest, but it does, gives you four and a half bars of protection. This is the warden one, it gives you two. This is just a downgrade, what? I mean, it's cool look, but why does it give you way less protection than diamond? Like, seriously, that's uh, one and a half bars less for some reason. And it doesn't give you anything special. That uh, haste, by the way, if you're wondering, it's on my beacon. So you have a beacon. Oh, I'm gonna go deactivate that beacon. And show you that. I don't know why I need to deactivate it. He just gives us. You know, basically, this is just a copy of my survival world. So I have a beacon here for the tree farm. Uh, what happened to that iron block? Oh, inventory lag. That's what happened. But yeah, I'm not getting any special effects on this one now, so why? What? Why would you... Right, so... Well, maybe I... Okay, let's give this benefit of the doubt and say I need an entire armor set. So let's get the entire armor set. Game mode 1. So yeah, it's just the warden. Boots, legging, helmet. Oh, hold on. Yes, I got inventory lag, so I need to re-log to fix the inventory lag. Come on. The game has frozen. Oh, there we go. Let me see. It's not happy with me today for some reason. And it's leading. Slew. Here we go. Right. Wow. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, it gives you slowness and strength if you get the entire set. But still less protection than diamond. If I go to game mode zero. Yeah, you get so the chest plate is the only one that's a straight up downgrade to diamond. For some reason. It gives you slowness, which isn't fun, and it 
gives you strength three, which is actually quite good here, because if I something in here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The game's again. Oh my god, he almost one shot me, and I'm not even doing that much damage back to him. Oh. Man, the game is real laggy like today. You know why? Yeah, there, that was causing my hand to itch. Yeah, doesn't really seem that great of a trade off, in my opinion. Like, why? Like, there are that strength. There has to be something buggy with the strength because you should be doing more damage and. This for strength. God, the slowness is annoying though. That's one, two, three, four. So with your fist, you're doing it took it four hits. Uh, so that's basically, and they have 20 health, so that's 5, da five damage per hit. So he has, uh, it multiplies, his, multiplies your damage by 5, but with the slowness effect and the fact that it's weaker than diamond, it's just like, mm. uh, Considering that you have to go so far out of your way to get the echo shards, and this, you know, I, it's, hard, it's really hard to justify having wanting to go uh get this in survival because yeah just just so many things are like why like, if it was if it was easy to get it maybe but you, you have to get diamond armor and then you have to get the echo shell so yeah you can like fully enchant them at least but also well there's skeleton there Yeah, whatever. Um, so I guess we go on to the next one. So I guess each of these will have their own uh, ability if you get the full set. So next up is the slime set. So there's a slime chest plate, slime boots. Oh, yeah, that's Tinkers. Yeah, so there's a only slime. Oh, okay, so yeah, this gives you jump boost four. It is annoying that it is constantly flickering on and off. So let's see, how much jump boost is this? Does it let me jump up two blocks? No, ah. Oh. oh, wait. Ah, yeah, so because it's, const it's constantly flickering on and off, because you gain uh, zero seconds of the effect, uh, it make it means you're not going to always want 100% of the chance, uh, percent of the time, have the jump boost when you go to jump. But when you do have the jump boost, it seems to be more than three blocks. Now, if they just uh, up to that to, like, one second of jump boost, then that would just fix that tall thing and I don't know how this didn't get caught caught in like beta testing or if it got caught why it was just left like that but yeah that is a, a bit of a problem it gives one and a half armor bars I'm gonna go back into game mode one I'm not gonna bother I don't think I'll bother too much with like crafting all that also light. Uh, let's just test the lights let it go to The light sets real quick. So it doesn't give you any special effects. It's one and a half armor bars worse than diamond. And 
It doesn't light... Oh, wait, it does light up the area near you. Yeah, but sometimes it'll take a second to catch up. I mean... It's not really that good of an item because... If you've got full diamond armor, you're not really going to be scared of the dark. Because, you know, you've, you're in full diamond armor, not much can kill you. Like, the only things that you're really afraid of it, when you've got full diamond armor is a warden, a wither, an ender dragon, maybe like getting ganged up on a couple of end by a few endermen in the year end, but. That's always been more of like an early game item to me. And then. I assume like the red and the colored diamond armor is just a colored set. Like the red and blue, that's just that just makes it look red and blue. Which would be good if you're doing like a mini game and you want to, you know, red team versus blue team, you can color the diamond armor to achieve that. And instead of using another armor. Uh, bonus armor, combine a diamond chest plate with fireworks to get jetpack chest plate. Let's get the jet. If we go into, cre into creative, I can spawn it in. Well, this looks... Now, this is a boring chest plate for it to be like a jetpack chest plate. Gives you slow falling. Uh, let me go in survival. Okay. So, you hold space bar and look where you want to fly, basically. Not the greatest. Also, a torch is supposed to be here. But it's not. There we go. I've definitely seen worse flying in an add-on. Right, but this isn't great, really. There's much better flight in other add-ons. I might do a video comparing like all the different jetpack add-ons. One day, maybe, or that's more of like... Uh, do I really want to go around buying every single jetpack add on? Because there's a fair few of them, and the. So. Oh. But, yeah, it's. Like, it's not super expensive, so I guess it's like. If you want a cheap mode of, like, flight, I guess it works. Uh, to get a yeah, combined diamond helmet with an ender pill to get ender helmet. Hell. Helm. Okay, there's a ender. Uh, it would help if I put the D in there. There you go, and ender diamond helmet. Gives you night vision. Something else it might do is it might teleport mobs away, so let's test that. I'll just summon a zombie because it's night time. Nope. So yeah, it just gives you night vision. This isn't too bad because night vision is a nice effect. Um, uh. And then you have slime ball to get slime boots. Cool bonus effects. So that's all the armor. How about blocks? Uh, colored blocks, combined dyes with sandstone. Oak plants and log to get to and stone bricks to get colored blocks. So sandstone, planks, 
logs and bricks. Sandstone planks, logs and bricks. Sand stew. So I'll just show them off in the crafting table. Sand. So you can get green sandstone, red sandstone, yellow sandstone, pink sandstone, orange sandstone, and the blue sandstone. Secrets. Okay. And then you've got the planks. So you've got orange, hollow. Oh. That's going to be something different. Hollow, oh, oh, uh, red. We got red planks. Hollow, 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 yellow planks, pink planks, green planks, and blue planks. And we have stoon. So you got uh, uh, red stone bricks, yellow stone bricks, pink stone bricks, orange stone bricks, green stone bricks. And blue stone bricks. And then you have the colored logs, which you, you've got yellow log, red log, blue log, green log, orange log, pink log. Uh, you've got hollow blocks that we saw earlier. Put logs, planks, stone, or bricks in a combiner. To get hollow blocks. Okay, but why? Let's right, so if I get. How did a torch get on there? If I get a bitch block. And you can make them into four hollow bitch planks. So, what are the points of these? Right, why? Is this just a way to basically duplicate your blocks? Just kind of lame, and it, and it doesn't really fit in here because this is supposed to be like combining two different items to get something entirely new. And th this item, you just put it in there and you get four more of it, self essentially. And it's like, why would you want that? Oh no. Okay, so back and exit exit do the same thing. So why you have two of them when? When you have TNT blocks combine pear 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 and the pills, fire charges, iron ingus and diamonds to get TNT blocks. So let's go to game mode one and take a look at these new T and T. They got Super TNT, Skulker TNT, Magnet TNT, Fire TNT, and Ender TNT. And there's TNT stick as well. I'll also check out the TNT stick as mine as well. I'll have them here. Don't need three of them. Right, there we go. And I'll go out here because there's a lot of stuff out here that is just well allowed here, but that's basically just forest that I basically just use in reviews if there's something destructive in it. So let's go here with the Super TNT right next to this fallen tree. Okay. You're gonna... Oh, Super TNT. Oh, okay. It's a little bit bigger than a normal TNT. Also, it drops itself somehow. Weird. Then you got the uh, Skulker TNT. And you wait for this to explode. Oh, there we go. Oh, why? 
That's, I don't know. That it doesn't really do anything unique. I'm a Skulker TNT. It makes, first it's called a Skulk TNT, but it makes a uh, Shulker. Not really, so maybe I just misread it and it's a Shulker TNT, but why not make it do something unique? Then that, that did nothing. Like maybe it made the drop scale to center, I guess. I don't know. That was lean. Hey, TNT. Come on. Don't know if it's lag or what. Yeah, there's just fire in the hole. Uh, that's kind of what I expected from that. And end of TNT. Let's go over here and do the end of TNT. Makes an Enderman teleporting sound. And it makes a hole. Does not make Okay, right. What's the point in adding new TNTs if they don't do anything special? Like, come on. Like, if it's just TNT... Uh, but, you know, if it's just basically TNT, then why bother? You know, through, like, the rigmarole of crafting them and, it, and just... They do basically the same thing, just face down! Uh, I don't know. So the TNT is basically pointless. What about food? Poison food. Combine an apple, carrot, melon, or potato with a potion to get poison potato poison food. So let's get ap apples. Poison. Okay, go to game mode zero because it doesn't let you craft and create it for some reason. So, one potion plus one apple gives you one. It doesn't even work properly. So, this is supposed to give you a poison apple, and it even says poisoned apple. But it's not poison, it gives you absorption. Why? I how did nobody test this? Ugh. But anyway, even if it did poison you, it'd be pretty much pointless because it says poison apple and it glows purple. Like the only person dumb enough to eat that would be fucking Snow White. Like... Come on! Right, firstly, make it so fix the fashion recipe so it actually gives you a poison poison apple. And secondly, don't call it a poison apple; just call it a regular apple. And uh, don't you know? Just make it look like an exa exactly like a normal apple. Just it's poisoned. And then when you give it to somebody as a prank, they won't know that it's poisoned. Come on, guys! Like seriously. What? Yeah. Anyway. Food. Combine food. Combinations of the following foods are available. Apple and cow. Apple. So. Uh, carrot and pie. So. Game mode one. Cow. Carrot. And pie. If that he cow. You make apple carrot and apple pie. 
Alright, why not make it look like an actual apple pie though? What is this weird texture? Now let me just do EFF effect at P uh, hunger seconds and amplify. So it's, let's just get, do it for 10 seconds, 255. I did not need a So this git restores two, yeah, two hunger bars. And it gives you regen effect, which is actually pretty good. Regen for two minutes, that's pretty good. Pumpkin pies aren't super easy to get because you need to get the pumpkins, which uh, naturally spawn in there. I think last, well, last time I heard they were like as rare as diamond ore, but they're probably even rarer now, naturally spawn pumpkins. Uh, could be wrong though. Uh, and, or in like a village, and then, um, like eggs and sugar, plus the apples, so it's not super OP. Anyway, let's clear the effects. Now this one gives you two and a half, but no added, so the apple carrot gives you no extra effect, but it gives you two and a half hunger bars. Then there was carrot and potato, and chicken and potato, so let's do that. Cow. Chicken. Was it raw or cooked chicken? I didn't say, so I'll just get both. Then a potato. Right, so why can't I craft a carrot and potato? Oh, it has to be baked potatoes. Give at P bake potato too. And it is a cooked chicken. So let's just do the hunger again. Let's get that done. Five seconds. There you go. So this one restores three hunger points and does not give you an effect. This one restores uh, four. I think that was four hunger shanks, but. That also does not give you an effect. Uh, then you got honey and bread and steak and bread. Bread. Um. And steak. Cook. So it's still called cooked beef, but they will change it in the future, I think. Right? Now, with this, I think they could get a bit more creative. I think, you know, you get one bread and, and the honey, and instead of just calling it honey bread, just call it a honey sandwich. The same with steak bread, just call it to a steak sandwich. Alright, so this one gives you uh, three, four, four and a half shanks. This one gives you 
two shanks, but you get three here. So that's six shanks, basically. And it gives you absorption. So yeah, the honey bread is pretty good. Uh, so there's just melon and sugar now. Mel. Sugar. And you get sugar coated melon. Uh, hunger. Alright, so this restores one and a half and it gives you speed for two minutes. That's not really very good. It's quite low. As I say, mind you, both of them are crap. Oh, melons aren't super easy to find, but once you do find them, it's quite. You can get a fair few of them quite easily, and sugar's not difficult to get because sugar cane's everywhere. Uh, so yeah, so that's all of the uh, combination foods done. What about secure? Oh, I forgot to do the TNT stick earlier, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let's just go see what this does. Real quick. I'm not going to go all the way there, I'm just going to go to the tunnel and blow up the tunnel a little bit. Doesn't do anything. So, I don't even know why it's here. Uh, so yeah, next up is security. What? Uh, this was a this was just a security add-on in disguise. God damn it, another one. Oh, uh, there's a million and one security add-ons. Why would I download this if I wanted a security add-on? I want a security add-on. I'll download the security add-on, not download this all. Yeah. Midstone Observer, I'm, I'm not going to even bother with that. Like, like I said, if I wanted to review a security add-on, I'd go review, review a security add-on. Not... Right, tools. Combine tools, the following combinations are available here, so you can combine iron, combine... Okay, why does it... why can't, why can't it just be axe and sword? Instead of just specifically iron axe and iron sword. Or... Okay, why are iron ingots on... what? This is supposed to be... okay, what iron ingot from redstone? What does that give me? What, what tool does that give me? Magnetic compass. It pulls stuff uh, towards you when you hold it in your hand. Why is it a compass then? Why not just make it a magnet? Like, come on. Also, I'm going to clear out my inventory. Oh, no, not that, I want that. Yeah, 
Yep. So yeah, let's get iron to give at p iron axe. Would help if I did that. There we go. Iron axe, iron sword. And you get the axe sword. Does seven attack damage. So it does put an extra attack damage. And can you use it to break planks, logs? Yeah, so it's basically just an iron axe and iron sword in one. I mean, yeah, axe swords. Yeah, that's that's a useful idea. But why is it specifically iron axe and iron sword? Like, let me just double check this. But it only says iron. If it did, if it wasn't only iron, then it would probably wouldn't specify that. But let's do. Let's try with a diamond sword and a diamond axe. Yeah, so it doesn't work with diamond. Like, why? So, a diamond pickaxe and prisma we shall. I missed that. Prisma. I'll give you the aquatic pickaxe. What does the aquatic pickaxe do? Doesn't mine any faster. Does it give you like water breathe? I don't know. Uh, hmm. If it does give you water breathing, then it's kind of like, yeah, okay. So what? Like, you don't really need water breathing. I don't know, it's a bit of a weird item. Uh, so there's iron pickaxe plus iron axe. That's, okay, that's just going to be... Those two combined again, why does it have to be iron and why can't it just be all of them? Why can't it just be all pickaxes and all axes? And you got the hoe plus a di why are you diamond hoe? What, what do you, diamond hoe plus diamond, what do you get with that? Okay. You. Diamond. You get the replanting hoe. So I guess this re so that'll replant the stuff that you break. Okay. Don't make much sense. You got a shovel plus axe, and you got a shovel pl plus pickaxe, and you got a shovel plus sword. You got to pickaxe plus iron pickaxe. What do you get with two iron pickaxes? You get super miner. So it doesn't even appear in your hand. And let me guess it'll mine a three by three area. No? It's just shit. Yep. So that's entirely pointless. I 
it was the point in this? Come on, add on devs. And then you go around the bar. Got a stick in the, what does a stick and the torch do? I'll give you a torch launcher. It'll take a torch from your inventory and it'll place it where you point. I mean, that's not a terrible item. It'll help if you lighten if you want to light up a large a large area. It's not really setting the world on fire. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Because everything else will just, just be like that. That item plus, does that item plus that item. So the thing is, it's only iron tools. So it's just like it's very. It's a lot more limited in how useful it's going to be. Then you have like weapons. Okay, I'm, so this is all like. So, diamond axe, diamond sword, diamond sword, diamond sword, iron sword. Diamond sword, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight diamond swords. Eight diamond swords. One. One diamond axe and one iron sword. I mean, that was an iron axe, not an iron sword. Right, see you. Then it was Amethyst Shard. The first up is the Amethyst Sword does 7 attack damage. Uh, hold on, let me get a zombie in here. Oh, I know. Oh, well, zombie. And it doesn't have any special effect. Also, it's super laggy. Why is the game so laggy? I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to see if I can solve this lag -like problem real quick. I tried closing some uh, windows and that didn't help, so there's not really anything they can do about the lag, unfortunately. But yeah, let's just move on to the next thing. So the next thing... Wait, weapons. So the next one is Deep Slay. Deep yeah, it's real steep say I don't want fake. Uh, 
Hang out deep sight. And we get the bedrock sword that it to, gets an additional attack damage. Does it have any special effects? Nope. Just stab them and they die. Please, Rod. I'm going to give that people as. What? And you get the blaze sword, seven attack damage, same as the diamond sword. And no special effect. Disappointing, I was expecting that to set them on fire. Diamond axe plus diamond axe. Oh. I'll give me another diamond axe. Here we go. Double axe. Even though it's made out of diamonds, it looks like iron. No special effects, and then all it does is eight damage. Well, I don't know why you go for that and not just like the blaze sword that uses a lot less diamonds. Uh, diamonds. Then we got firework. Give P fire. Firework rocket. Got the uh, firework sword. It looks like an iron again. Looks like an iron sword when it's made, and it has one less attack damage. It's fair. Have a good ability. It shoots a rocket when you hit that. That is not worth it at all. Got the golden apple. Yeah, the golden apple sword. Summon the zombie. Gives you absorption when you hit someone. Okay, that's decent, I guess. How much stack damage does it do? Seven. Ah. Uh, Okay, that's, that's as much as a diamond sword, at least. Wait, did I say the rocket one? Uh, hold on. Yeah, so yeah, they're just double taking that one's way. Yeah, that does do less damage. Weapons. Ball and apple. Stick plus ice. Okay, I know the sticks are here, yeah. Stick. And then ice. Well, oh no, there it is. Ice. Yeah, the ice wand. It gives them slowness effect, I think. Lame. Bear in mind, to get ice, you need silk touch. Lame. Weapons. Redstone and diamond sword.
Get a redstone sword. And that doesn't do anything special. Yes, it looks kind of cool. And the next one was like a slime ball and a diamond sword. So. Let me just grab a slime ball. Get the slimy sword that look, looks like an iron sword, even though it was used. Even though it uses a diamond sword. And it doesn't do anything special. So, what's the point? Lightning rod, iron sword, TNT, and stick. Lightning rod, iron sword. So, I got iron sword, so lightning rod. TNT and stick. I'll just give myself the TNT. Give that P T N T. Lightning rod. And thunder sword. Oh wait, no, no. Yeah, why? Okay, whatever. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh no, summon zombie. Does nothing special. What's up next? Oh yeah, TNT and stickers for the thing, and then Totem of Undying for Diamond Sword, and Diamond Sword. So, if I get a stick... I got TNT, so yeah, that's the TNT stick. Summon Zombie does nothing special. Alright, uh, Totem of Undying in the game. At P. Top. And you get the Undying Sword. Does 8 attack damage. Summon in the knee. I'm gonna test. Does this? Nope. Well then, what's the point? Oh, there you are. Ah, get just your sparkles. Yeah, most of these are just aesthetics, and that kind of sucks. Yeah, this add-on kind of sucks. Like, cool idea, extremely underwhelming execution, like... It's just like, it feels like they wanted... I don't really think they had a clear idea of what they wanted to do with this. But then you have, like, you have blocks that are just basically the exact same as vanilla blocks that don't even fit in here. Then you have randomly, then randomly you have a security add-on shoved inside of this add-on. And the, everything else seems, like, if they, what they should have done is, like, they should have never bothered with the security part. They should have never bothered with those hollow block with, their ho with those hollow blocks. And took the time they used to develop those items into just making more variants of like so again with the tool with like with the tools instead of just having it to be only the iron tools like this way with have it be all of the tool all of like the di all the diamond gold iron wood all of the different uh, levels of tools that it works with like why yeah just some stupid iron stupid uh, 
Yes, uh, some stupid decisions were made and it really hinders the uh, final product. Yeah, so I can't really recommend this. Because yeah, it just kind of sucks, unfortunately. I bear in mind, Mojang, you know, Microsoft, they don't go to add-on creators and say, like, okay, you have X amount of time to develop this add-on. They had all of the time in the world that they wanted to develop this add-on. And they felt like this was ready to be put out into the public. So, yeah, this, uh, uh, yeah, this is not a good add-on. So, yeah, I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it uh, informative. Uh, uh, and enjoyable, but yeah, I hope you guys, hope to see you guys in the next one. If you want to join me, uh, my Discord is free, da link down in the description. I uh, have a Discord members realm that you can join. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, and bye-bye. Uh, also, really quick, while I was uh, just, while I was just going to grab the, uh, thumbnail for uh, the their thumbnail to use in uh, my thumbnail, they share a crossbow being uh, combined with a torch. That doesn't even appear in this add-on! Like, why? Like, come on, do better.